Hello everybody, welcome back to another taste test. Today we are going to be trying out a variety of snacks and treats from the United Kingdom. Welcome back guys. First of all, we want to say thank you to Gary and Jesse for sending us these treats from the United Kingdom. Um, I do have to say that a couple of them was sort of destroyed on the way, destroyed slash melted because it's really really hot right now but uh, we're gonna taste them anyway. The first one, very curious flavor. Very interesting, yeah. Very interesting mm. flavor. If it's in Japan, it's natto flavored snack. Natto flavored <laughs> snack. <laughs> Maybe. Well, you know, recently they came up with the natto potato chips yeah. that you had. Was yeah. it good? Did you like that? Delicioso. I haven't tried that yet. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> it's marmite. marmite. Marmite flavored cashew nuts. Oh, marmite flavored cashew nuts. That's so <laughs> interesting. <laughs> So these are oven baked cashews and wow, they're coated in marmite yeast extract and marmite yeast. Is that the same thing or are those two different things? I don't know. But anyway, let's yeast give it a try. Extract. Yeah, but all I know is that marmite is supposed to be good for you. A lot of B vitamins, kind of like um, the Australian one. What is it called? Vegemite. Vegemite, kind of like Vegemite. And we both like Vegemite. It doesn't mm. smell bad. I like it actually. For me, it's the taste is seaweed. Me too. Yeah, like seaweed and soy sauce. Yeah, like mixed together. Yeah. Tsukudani nori. Yeah. Murasaki. Edo murasaki. Yeah. I have a feeling um, if Japanese people use Marmite and Vegemite in the correct way, you know, not just eat it out of the tube like that. I think most Japanese people can go for this. Um, we're used to this flavor, lots of umami and yeah. flavor. I can put on rice. That's true. <laughs> Maybe that's something we should try. <laughs> cheese twist <laughs> from Tesco. Mm. Cheddar cheese. Looks like the looks like bread. Mm. So uh, these are flaky pastry pastry twists. Yeah, there are 36 layers of pastry for extra crunch. Oh. Now they have broken up into little pieces, um, but that's okay because now we have bite sized um, pastry twists. The smell is nice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's super crunchy. Mmm. Mm. Super sakuto, this one. Mm. Yeah. Rabu, rabu. Mmm, mmm. Cheesy. Mmm. Mm. It's not like overwhelmingly cheesy, so you can actually eat a lot of it. It's very light. Mm. Mm. Good, Be huh? Beer. Beer. <laughs> beer. Me too. Me too. Maybe, maybe we'll finish this off for dinner tonight with some beer. All right, moving on, we have the Jammy Dodgers. These are the raspberry flavor. It says, no nasty stuff. We're jammy enough. So these are shortbread biscuits with a raspberry flavored apple jam. A raspberry flavored apple jam. Raspberry flavored apple jam. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's quite confusing. It's like uh, uh, cookie sandwiches, I think. Why is it called no nasty? No nasty, nasty. stuff. I, I think no nasty stuff means, I'm assuming, that there is no artificial anything. Oh, I see, yes, yes, yes. No nasty <laughs> stuff. I'm just assuming. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This tastes very British to me. Mm. The shortbread cookie with the jam. Mm. Thinking time. Thinking time. <laughs> apple. Mm. Raspberry. Raspberry flavored apple jam. Combined into strawberry. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> Since you said that, now I feel like I'm eating strawberry. <laughs> Add raspberry and apple and you get strawberry. Hmm. <laughs> That's true. I like it though. It's very light, flaky. And um, if you like jam filled shortbread cookies, you like these. Next one. It's a little bit broken because of the heat. Mm. Curly wari. Yeah. Curly wurly squirrelies. Curly wari squirrelies. By Cadbury. Cadbury. The chocolate snack mm. and the inside it's Caramel? Yeah, they're like worms. Oh. Worm? Yeah, like chocolate covered worms. I hate worms, but I like chocolate and caramel. This one is kind of unfortunate. 
Oh. Yeah, they totally melted and they all stuck together to create oh, like this. into one. <laughs> yeah, this, this um, brick of mud or something. But it looks like something you see on the road after rain. Taste same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically chocolate and caramel, so I'm pretty sure it's going to taste good. <laughs> <laughs> this is more like a chocolate caramel wow. bark. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Basically chocolate and caramel, mm. really. Chocolate mm. and caramel. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Cadbury chocolate is a little bit on the sweet side, but they always, you know, make their milk chocolate pretty well. From and the picture, mm. I, th I thought it's sakuto thing, mm. but it's not. Uh, I don't know, who knows? I'm mean, Because this, this has completely <laughs> melted. That's, that's, so that's who right. knows what it actually is supposed to, you know, feel like um, on your teeth. Next one. We have border beautifully crafted biscuits. These are dark chocolate gingers. Mm. Yeah, this one looks nice. Looks like choco pie. Like choco pie, kind of, yeah, but they're flatter. That's right. Mm hmm. Mm. Ninja. Wow. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, I like this a lot. It's very gingery, it's very mm. spicy. Like spicy in the gingery way. Mm. But this taste, mm -hmm. flavor, is, ginger flavor is stronger than gingerbread. I think so. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think very gin gingery. I think gingerbread it ha is it's a combination of different flavors: ginger, mm -hmm. cinnamon. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so it's a blend of it. Whereas this one is more like straight ginger. straight ginger flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. I really like it. I love ginger. What do you think? And very the texture is really nice. Very surprising te taste. Very surprising. Mm. It's quite intense. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is Mr. Kipling. Six cherry bake wells. Bake wells. Okay. Bake so, wells. Well, these are light pastry cases filled with a layer of fruity jam, moist frangipani sponge, soft icing, and a hand-placed cherry on top. <gasps> They're pretty. They kind of wow. remind me of like tea cakes that you have. Wow. It's and layer. high tea or afternoon tea. Layer. Mm. I haven't had afternoon tea in a very long time. You know, I love having afternoon tea with Lawrence. He loves afternoon tea, high tea, whichever. He loves. He loves tea. He loves. He loves it. Hmm. I just almond. I'm assuming that frangipani means almond. What does frangipani mean? What? What? What it tastes like? The cherry flavor mm. is really good. Mm -hmm. It is. And the layer is mm. fun. Mm. It's very moist, flaky. Mm. No, not flaky, it's crumbly. The, spon the, the, the tart part is crumbly. And the inside, the sponge is very, very moist. The flavor is quite intense, I gotta say. Mm. Um, I guess it's the frangipani, maybe, or the icing. I don't know. What is frangipani? Do you know what frangipani oh, no. is? What is frangipani, guys? Let us know in the comments down below. We have no idea what that is. Hmm. For me, I taste almonds, but I don't know, maybe it's cherries. <sighs> like marzipan. Like marzipan, yeah, kind of reminds me of marzipan. Mm. Okay, finally, we have something that Satoshi may not like. So these are the After 8 Bites. These are uh, minty uh, chocolate bites. And y y you know, um, in some Western countries, like in America, for example, at least when I used to live there, people used to like to end their dinner with like a minty chocolate. I guess maybe it's refreshing or something. <laughs> okay, so here we are. It, they're very small. Mm. Yeah, I promise you, it'll feel very refreshing. Here you go. Mmm, mm. try. You try a lot. Oh, well, this is dark chocolate. Um, the inside, the, the mint cream is actually quite sweet. It's, it's actually the sweetest of everything we tried today. Minty at the same time, very creamy. Good mint taste. Good mint Good taste. taste. Chocolate taste. <laughs> Separately. <laughs> Here, have a sip of your coffee. <clears throat> All right, we've come to the end of this taste test. It is time to choose our favorites. What's your favorite? Marmite snack. The Marmite snack, the Marmite <laughs> cashew. Really? This I one love is Marmite a... Oops, sorry. This one is Satoshi's favorite, the Marmite cashews. Okay. Wow, I had no idea. I didn't think you were going to choose that. My favorite 
has to be Mr. Kipling's uh, Cherry Bakewells. Mm. The most complex flavor. Yeah, I like it a lot. I love this kind of like. First of all, I love um, anything like almondy. I love the, the flavor of cherry. I love tarts, and I love sponge cake. And when they're all combined into one, oh my goodness! Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Gary and Jesse, for sending these to us. We really had a great time trying them out. Maybe I enjoyed it more so than he did because of the mint, but. Uh, whatever. We loved it. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you next video. Bye. Bye guys.